Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Unreal. Today what I have for you guys is some more Black Ops 2. Uh, playing on the map Plaza. This is a 21 to 1 team deathmatch. Um, I literally destroy these kids with the Vector. Um, I don't know why the Vector is so good. Back in Black Ops 2's Prime, Vector, the Vector just sucked. And it's probably because, you know, we had the MSMC and the PDW, and they were the primary, you know, SMGs. Uh, same thing with the Scorpion. So I guess because the game's so old, like, the Vector can actually hold its own. But I mean, I was just, I was ripping kids. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, guys, um, I want to talk about a little bit about uh, some news, some Black Ops 3 news. Um, Treyarch is kind of, uh, well, not Treyarch, but, uh, you know, the fans are kind of speculating that Black Ops 3 will be the next Call of Duty because... Um, Treyarch has been releasing some Easter eggs, some uh, some hints, some mysteries on their Snapchat stories. Um, if you guys didn't know, I mean, let's be honest. Treyarch's doing this game. It's probably going to be Black Ops 3, or it could be World at War 2. Um, I don't, I really don't think Treyarch would just make a whole brand new game like Infinity Ward did. Because, you know, Infinity Ward, you know, when, when they were going to announce their COD, everybody was like, oh, it's, it's got to be Modern Warfare 4. It's just got to. And then people are like, well, it could be a new COD. And sure enough, it ended up being a new COD. And it was poopy. So I'm hoping Treyarch uh, isn't going to follow it in Infinity Ward's footsteps and make it just a whole brand new Call of Duty. I really would like to see Black Ops 3. I mean, I love the Black Ops series. They're my favorite series. Black Ops 1 is the Call of Duty I started on. And Black Ops 2 is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. So I would really love for Treyarch to continue with Black Ops 3. Uh, however, I would not mind World at War 2. Um, I wasn't around for the first World at War. I heard it wasn't that great, um, but I wasn't around for it, so I would like to experience, um, you know, World at War. Um, if they made it, you know, how it should be, you know, like a World War game, not this high-tech, futuristic warfare. And that's what I want to see from the, the new Call of Duty. Um, I'm tired of seeing this futuristic bullcrap. Um, you know, I like Call of Duty because of the the, realis the realism to it. Um, you know, it's a war game, army game, you know, and that's what we've always seen up until Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, they took a whole different direction with it, but they, they barely went with it, like, it was supposed to be a futuristic game with uh, with modernized, or I don't think it was modernized guns, it might have been futuristic guns, but the thing is, is they didn't go over the edge like Advanced Warfare did, you know, they went a little bit toward the future, I mean, it was only set in 2025, you know, that's only 10 years from now, so they went just a little bit into the future, and it felt like a Call of Duty, it played like a Call of Duty, Unlike Advanced Warfare, where I don't know what setting the game is in, but I mean, that thing is completely futuristic. Exosuits, the weapons look robotic and shit, so I'm, I'm hoping they at least stay uh, with how Call of Duty should be. It should be like a, it should be an old-timey war game. Now, some people have been saying that uh, they could go into a whole new direction and make it more of like a Vietnam setting. I think that would be really cool, too. Um... My grandfather actually served in Vietnam, so, um, you know, I always have a special thing, a special kind of connection, uh, to that. But I think, I think Vietnam would be a cool game, uh, you know, World War game, world, you know, like a World War II type environment. Um, I, I don't want to see this futuristic stuff, so, uh, hopefully we'll know something soon. I think May 1st, around that time, uh, we should be getting some Call of Duty news. So if you haven't already, follow Call of Duty on Snapchat. You can catch their little hints on there. Um, I follow them on Snapchat just to see what's there. Um, but anyway, guys, my name's Unreal. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm two subscribers away from hitting 100, which is fucking awesome, boy. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description below. I will always talk to people on there. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. Hope to see you guys next time. And hope you enjoyed the gameplay. 21 and 1. Slaying kids with a vector. It was good. It was a good game. Anyway, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.